Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the way to fish my favorite topwater baits. First thing we're going to start with is this Super Spook Junior. Uh, best thing to do, uh, make sure all these baits I'm going to be throwing today, I'm going to show you guys, is always going to be on braid. The reason I'm going to throw on braid is because it floats. Anything on topwater, you want the line to not sink. Fluorocarbon does sink, so throw it on monofilament or braid. Uh, this is 50 pound uh, Power Pro Max Quattro. Uh, but you just want to put her out there a little bit. And the whole thing about a spook or a walking dog bait is that you don't want the line to be extremely tight. If it's tight when you're pulling the, the rod, it's just going to come at you like this. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't do good. It jumps everywhere. So if you leave a little slack in your, in your line, that's the action that you want for that walking dog bait. Again, this is a uh, spook. But you can see I have my rod tip down and to my right, close to the, the water line. So you want that bait to be working that way. So you can stop the thing. Can work it really fast. Again, you can work it left or right, stop it for a second. There's a fish right underneath it. That's pretty cool. Probably not gonna be able to see it on the, the video unless it eats it, but. That's pretty much all there is to the spook. We'll go to next. Next, we'll look at the frog. All right, guys. Here's the uh, black spro frog going to be thrown. I'm going to show you guys a little bit about this. One thing that you have to notice when you have to, one thing that you have to keep in mind is that these things are hollow. They have a little where the hook comes through. They will get water in there. So every few casts, you got to squeeze the water out. Um, it's just you know nature of the beast. So all these baits that I've shown you in the past couple minutes, except for the buzz bait, all basically have the same motion with your rod tip. Um, you don't want to have a, a really tight line when you're actually, you know, twitching your rod tip. You just want to, you know, mimic a frog with this thing. I'm using a, a black frog. It's the sun is super high in the sky. Uh, it finally come out today, so that's why I'm switching up to this. Caught a couple uh, spotted bass on that popper, but I'm going to see if I can catch one on this. But the same deal. You're just going to uh, cast it out. And it's not a really good spot for the frog, but I just want to show you here. Uh, the frog will sit there and float. Uh, it does have an air bubble in it. That's what that uh, hole also does there for it. But you can uh, move these things as fast or as slow as you want to. Again, it all kind of depends on the mood of the fish and what you want to do. Again, that was the very first cast. Um, you see there's some water in there, but every so often you want to make sure that you get the water out of that frog. Again, you can see here on the water how the line is not straight. If the line was really tight and I do what I'm doing, I'll jerk the frog two feet. What I'm doing is I'm not reeling the frog at all. I'm just using my, my reel to take up slack before, you know, after I basically jerk the, the bait. So make one more cast of this thing, see if we can't catch one. There's an old uh, culvert here that is real deep. Let's see if I can get something out of there.
more cast here. Again, it's about the third or fourth cast. I want you to notice here that this does have water coming out of it. If you don't uh, get the water out of it every so often, um, it's gonna sink. So back in here again, this is not an ideal situation for a frog. You're looking for lily pads, grass, stuff like that. But for the sake of today's tutorial, Uh, fish frog. All right, so the next bait I'm gonna show you guys how to throw on top water today is just a standard buzz bait. You can see I have a two hot um, Gamagatsu trailer hook on the back of that thing. Uh, again, on braid, I'm throwing this on the same rod that had the um, the spook on. This is really not the best rod in the world for the next baits I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna use it because it's the only rod I have in my boat right now with braid. The rest of the stuff's in my house. So again, two hot trailer hook. You can do a one hot, but I recommend definitely having a trailer hook on there. But the whole deal about a buzz bait is you're just gonna cast it and reel it. You want it to stay on top of the water. And again, if you have um, monofilament, it's fine. But if you have fuller carbon line, it's not gonna work that well, so. Keeping your rod tip in the air as you reel it will keep your line out of the water. Um, but again, braid does, does float so you can put your rod tip down. You can fish this thing as fast as slow as you want. It's totally up to you. But if you fish it too slow, you'll know when you're doing that because the bait will go totally under the water. I'm fishing this on a seven to one gear ratio. Allows me to bring up a lot of slack. So oh, that's how you fish the buzz bait. All right, the next style bait I'm gonna show you guys is the popper style or the popping style bait. Same deal, fishing it on braid. Make sure you're not fishing it on fluorocarbon. It will sink, cause your bait to act the way it shouldn't. So same deal, cast it. You're basically gonna act, make this bait act like the walking bait I showed you a second ago. However, you wanna pause this every now and again. So you take a look over here, just cast it a little ways out so we can see it. You can see it there, it does float, so. Yeah. Wanna change your cadence up every now and again. You can make this thing actually, you know, throw, spit a lot of water if you like. This kind of depends on what the fish are or wanting it to do. You can just let it sit there. If you see a fish come up and try to get it or whatever, maybe jerk it a couple times and just let it sit there. A lot of times a fish will, will react right when you jerk it from a stop also.
Uh, I gotta love it when a plan comes together. I saw him coming up after it, a little spot of bass here. I saw him coming up after it, so I stopped it, and he uh, smoked it, so. A little top water action, popper. Up next, secret bait. See you, bud.